By the way, we landed in the sub. Yeah. Screw this. Somehow. I love this theme, but uh, screw this part. <laughs> so, uh... This is, in my opinion, this is the hardest chase sequence in the whole series because there's uh, so many uh, pits last second, there's like obstacles all in your face, and uh, yeah. th this walrus guy, um, he, <laughs> he's so like, ridiculously fast. And he can't skip this, by the way. Yeah, oh. I've get, and it, the, the worst part is that if you game over here, you go right back to um, after the Cortex snowboard sequence, so you have to do the whole part with an uh, engine's battleship again. So, uh, oh, you don't exactly get sent, um, close to this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if the- there's, um, the- Ah, god, he is- he is right up on your ass the whole time. Yeah, um- Yeah, it looks like you have, like, no room for error. Yeah, pretty much. Um... And, like, if this is- if this is- if this is, uh... It, 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 this is this hard. Um, uh, I I shudder to think what the, um, the okay. There was an optional section in one of the first areas of the game um, that that got cut b because it was a chase sequence that was dubbed as too hard by the developers themselves. So it like <laughs> I if this is that hard. What? How hard is that? Right? I I w yeah. <laughs> I like how he doesn't have like an animation for when you die, he just kind of stops. <laughs> well, there goes my meat. Meat for my pot. Honestly, one, one thing that he could have done to make this more forgiving is like pull oh. the camera back a bit more so you have way more time to react to what's, to what's coming up. Yeah. Oh yeah, as, as well, and, and like obviously not make the walrus as fast so that way you have... So that way you have more than just, you have more time yes. to like make some room for <laughs> Yeah, he just stops! He looks <laughs> yeah, like some, sometimes the Wumper Fruit kind of guides you to where you should be going, but other times like just then, they just show, they just shove a bunch of nitros in your face with no warning. It's like, how am I supposed to know that's going to happen? Do your best not to veer in any direction. <laughs> yeah. Run straight down unless you have to change. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, because the camera's so close, like, a lot of deaths are just going to be knee-jerk because you, like, you, you just don't know what's going to come up. Like that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, like, just the fact that the, that, that his running animation just stops. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to like... Yeah, the, the, like everywhere you look, like you can just tell how like how much game how much this game was just rushed. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it's like over this side. Which is why it's a good thing that we're now practically in an age where if a game's not ready yet, hopefully hopefully the publisher is understanding enough to say, okay, we'll give you more time. Uh! Oh. Yeah. I like Camera really had to make sure I got that. <laughs> yeah, I was speaking. Speaking of falling in pits, I did have this uh, one amazing glitch that happened during the Cortex snowboard sequence once, where I fell in a pit. Uh, and if Joey was here, he can attest to this. But um, <laughs> I I fell in a pit, but I didn't die, and I tried so hard to try and get back out, but I just couldn't. So I, the cor crashing Cortex was just kind of awkwardly sliding down like black nothingness. <laughs> 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 it was pretty good. Oh my god! Ah, uh, again. <laughs> Yay. Well, good thing you got plenty of lives to spare. Yeah. I will. Yeah, I will reiterate. So I, I said this in like the first session, but I do think this is one of the harder crash games out there. Um, I definitely wouldn't say this is like an easy game by any means. <laughs> yeah, I love the theme. I'll say that much. Yeah. That's that's like the best part of this. Someone. Is it over? Okay, I think it's over. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank God. 
Also, this, <laughs> this is pretty good. Also, I want to point out, we... Uh, I don't think we uh, have a... We've had a save point yet. <laughs> and then Crash died, the end. <laughs> oh, hey, Entropy. Yeah, he's and just... He, and by the way, are you, the are you ready for the best sound effect you ever heard? <laughs> Looks like we'll have to ring it out of him. Right here. <laughs> Good. Ah yes, Good sound design. <laughs> yeah. See, I want to point out, uh, unless I didn't, unless I just didn't see it, uh, I don't think we got a save point. So if you die, if you die, you gotta go back to the, uh, that second part of the save, don't you? No. Uh, you. Okay. So if you die, okay. So basically, you need to do engines battleship. You need to do the walrus, and you need to do this boss all in one go. If you game over at uh, any of those sections, do that all again. <laughs> But this this boss is okay, but it's not anything special. Oh, I almost messed it up. <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of ent speaking of entropy, I remember that that reminds me. Apparently, in um, Nickelodeon Kart Racers Three, to unlock Donatello, which basically just it's basically entropy. Oh. By that, he needs yeah. time to roll. Yeah, ah, time trial. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we do the time trial guys. Goes. Is it just or does when he lands, he I think he does. Yeah, I really don't understand what tro Entropy's, like, even doing. He's, like, slamming the ground, which doesn't even, like, hit you, and then he just gets his shield off. Like, I don't understand what he's doing. He's doing his best. <laughs> yeah, like, when, when, after Embryo leaves, let's watch as Entropy comes down. Also, I like those boxes you can just see in the distance. So... Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see these boxes over there. What, what the heck are, the, are those doing there? Yeah, like uh... I don't understand what. You... Uh, yeah, it's not a bad fight, but it's just kind of eh. My turn again. Bye. Okay, okay. The, I think this is a, 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 an instance of like, you can accidentally do the, like, the same area twice. Um, like, if you, go, if I go up here, uh, yeah, so I'm supposed to go up on this, I believe, but, um, if you forget, like, if you, like, I guess, stop playing and then come back later, um, you might accidentally go through that, uh, tunnel again. And that will make you go through that whole sequence um, again, and just be a bunch of—it would just be a waste of time. And there's a few instances instances in the game where that happens, um, which is not great. The one, in, the one in the um, the uh, the Academy of Evil is like probably the biggest offender because it's very easy to make it happen. Oh yeah, I've I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So like you see Cortex just there, and your instant is probably to. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Yeah. Did you just destroy Triple by kicking them? Mm -hmm. Yes. And now she's paralyzed again. Yeah. Must be repaired. Don't think so. You're gonna die. My niece, Nina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? Oh, yeah, like, wasn't this game Nina's first appearance? It, I think it was supposed to be, but I think... I think she appeared in, like, an... Like, was it... Another game first? Like, I don't know. Well, time to check. This w I think this was intended to be her debut, though. Hey, hey, talk to you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'd like to be curious. Uh, in some versions of the game, uh, she can. Uh, it doesn't happen for my copy. Oh, for some okay. Reason. Um, okay, so ac according to the according to the Bandapedia, yeah, it says like her, her first appear. 
Nina's first appearance, production-wise, was Crash Purple. Okay, yeah, that, that uh, yeah, I, I knew it was like a Vicarious Visions game, but I don't remember. Yeah, didn't remember which one. But like, but like chronologically, Twin Sanity is Twin Sanity is her first appearance. Right. I mean, I don't I know. Want, I don't know where so the, me, huh? Oh yeah, like yeah. I was about to say like let, let's, let, let's compare like um, re release dates and see which one came first. Yeah. Right, is that right. minigun on the front of the blimp ever used? Uh. <laughs> Alright, Crash Purple came out June 3rd, 2004, and when the Twin Sanity came out, September, tw September 28th, 2004. Mm. So yeah, so Crash Purple was, was Nina's first appearance. Mm. Did they just fast forward him? Yeah, they did. I like that you can still understand him though. Yeah. Like that also reminds me of like one bit in Portal Two, where like um Glad where like Gla where like um Glados is gonna give give gives you instructions on how to solve a certain test, but it's just like I have to do something real quick, so I'll so I'll, I have to do something real quick, so I'll just give you the tests. I'll, so I'll just give so I'll just give you the instructions really fast. And if you actually slow it down, it's the section from Moby Dick of all things. <laughs> also, I like how you're just suddenly here now. There's like no animation. Yeah. It's the right. no cutscene. It's just like, well, we're in the Academy of Evil. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have noticed like, how this game works. That there's um, there's like the opening area of a world. Um, where you just go around and like explore and whatnot, and then and then you have the more contained like uh, linear esque like sections, if you will, which I think is interesting. I <laughs> I think it was the seas run of this. Well, I when I walk when I uh, got warped to the to to this area, uh, Crash was just invisible for like two minutes. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, just gonna go around and find some gems. It's probably, um, actually, no, I, I'd say like the the last two hours of the game, I I'd, I'd say are like the most unique, uh, like areas for this game. Especially the last one. The last world of this game is actually pretty pretty good. Stuff of the football. Oh, I'm sorry, soccer ball. Eh, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> I I gotta... I asked this one, but do you call it football or or, or, or no, or uh, uh, no, we 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 call it soccer. Oh, I okay. see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we have like. All these name differences with things. America wants to be different. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And that, like, in fact, like, yeah, they want to be so different. I'm pretty sure they're the only country that doesn't use the metric system. Yeah. Oh. So we're idiots. <laughs> yeah, like they'll literally use anything but the metric system to measure things. Yeah. Like, like, like saying, like, oh, like saying, oh, this football field is as big as, um, ten, uh, about a hundred crocodiles. <laughs> we won't actually, we, we can only get the carrot, but we can't oh, actually. okay. Uh, okay, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we take those? <laughs> you can die from taking too much fall damage, so. Oh, wait, there's fall damage in this? Uh, well, sort of, sort of like. If you fall from too high a height, you will just die. Is that sequence break you dead? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We take those, I guess. Oh, by the way, Xavier, I don't know if you noticed it, but in this game, my nitro kill you instantly. Yeah. That what? That what? Uh, ni nitros kill you instantly. Oh. 
Even if you have, oh, yeah. even if you have, even if you have invincibility. That's dumb. Yeah, the invincibility is so whack, whack in this game because it it doesn't really kill enemies or anything. It doesn't have music, and uh, I I don't even think it makes you faster. It it, it it's kind of worthless. <laughs> Another result of this game's troubled production. Yeah, the production was so so struggled that um, it like Akuaku's power got cut in half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Okay, can I just jump that? I I don't know. Nope. What's the you point? almost made it. Uh. Ah, screw it. Let's just get a move on. I thought you clipped through a door for a second. <laughs> okay, I I can... It, it, I have a audio delay, so what, what I'm gonna do is... Uh, if this will work... Kubo cam. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. Guessing you, you okay. just have a camera, you just have like, is, is it, you, you just have a camera for your plushies. Uh, well, it's like, uh, uh, it's, like streamers, it's like the streamers who have a separate camera just to ask for their dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I basically just reset the, uh, capture card. But, um, no. <laughs> uh, I, so I, when I did a few speed runs, um, I had more, I had, I had like some screen left to put something in there. So I just put Fumo Cam. Kind of. I I don't like how like wait when you on the bouncy crates that you don't see like the Wumper Fruit like the other games. Mm. Oh, I missed. It's just, it just in the tally. Yeah. Ah! Oh. I need to like. Why? Why no. are you struggling to make Vortex so with the crystal? Huh? Why is he like resisting the crystal? I don't know. What did I even do? Wait. Yes, there. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Make a crab. Okay. <laughs> Oh, here comes a here comes a funny Ford joke. <laughs> oh, this. The greatest evil scientist in the world. Stuck in a pipe. How could things get any worse? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, by the way, he can die now, so be careful. <laughs> yeah, if he fall, falls into like the toxic waste, uh, he's he he just dies. <laughs> He can't teleport out away anymore. Yeah, because he's stuck in the pipe. So. Yeah. So it's like, this like, uh, what what is that um phrase like gold Ruberg puzzles or whatever? Ruben Goldberg puzzles. Oh, hi. Yeah. Welcome back, by the way. Hi. I never left. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, guess you don't need me anymore. <laughs> uh, no, actually, um, I'm eating right now, so you all can just resume what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, because I was actually going to leave the call and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> and you ruined it. Thanks a lot, Scrappy. Uh, you're welcome. Camera. Alright. So I guess, uh... Is he staying? I think. I don't know oh! oh, yeah. How is he alive? Hold on, what? Uh, nano machine, son. Oops. Okay, oh, that's... Oh, it. Well, okay. <laughs> now, now he's dead. Now he's dead. Whoops. <laughs> that's not what I, I... That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, is, is he just immune to nitros? Well, I guess we'll... I guess we'll find out in a second. That's hilarious. Hmm. 
Wee. I just love watch just watching them go through these pipes. <laughs> yeah. So if I just <laughs> That is hilarious, oh my god. <laughs> he, he's, a, he's immune to natural blasts. J on, only when he's in uh, a, a barrel, apparently. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna make sure you hit these, uh, because otherwise the pipes aren't gonna be complete. So he's gonna just die. <gasps> okay. I mean, hey, a free gem. Yep. I do like how this game like expanded upon like uh, the universe of Crash a little bit because uh, Wrath of Cortex basically just introduced Crunch and then uh, I guess the elementals but eh and then that was kind yeah. of it uh, the, I do like how this game introduced like a, a few new characters and locations and whatnot. so it like I, I mean it brought in the whole dimensions thing which uh, Crash 4 went with, so, you know. It did... Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure Wait, there was supposed to be an... <laughs> uh... You good? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? <laughs> okay. Oh you are so polished, guys. <laughs> is that supposed to be what his animation looks like when he's in the pipe or something? Maybe. That'd be great. Yeah, the yeah, Twin Sunny de definitely expanded the uh, universe quite a bit, which I like. Do you, you wanna, what? dude? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Uh, I think he's out of it now. <laughs> so, I, I'll, I, think I'll, got, I think he just got PTSD. I think he, he's just done. Is there? Hit the checkpoint and die. Maybe that'll fix him. I guess. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this this is a polished video game, guys. <laughs> what the hell? I've never seen that happen before. Well, now you can. Well, now you can't say that ever again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they, 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 this is. Now we have a video footage of it too. That's what's special about, like, broken games like this, is that you never quite know what's gonna happen. Yeah, right? Even when you're playing, uh, even when you're playing, you're to go sick. You think you've seen all the glitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that my PS... the My PS2 itself is also, like, kind of on its way out, but, like... <laughs> I'm surprised it, 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 it's literally holding on to life support right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not used to like seeing like generous amounts of track and trash games anymore. Wait, what? What? I'm not used to seeing generous amounts of checkpoints and crash games anymore. <laughs> oh! Uh, so, crash uh, more? Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I find it hilarious. Uh, a Canadian guy I did an interview with one of the the devs of Crash Four, and uh, one of the things they said is that up, basically, what is it? It's like up until the moment of re release, he was wor worried the game was too easy, <laughs> which is I hilarious. Hope he, I, hope he really, I really hope he met a normal playthrough. I blame you for this, Harry. <laughs> I, <Why? laughs> <laughs> why do I, why am I to blame? Because every game you play through, oh man, this game, this quality of life feature makes this game too easy. They heard you. I never said this. Not for Crash Four, not for Crash games, maybe, but for other stuff, yes. Like what? I don't remember ever saying this. Oh my god. Ah, uh, give me an example, please, uh, Scrappy. I like to I like to hear. I like more clarification. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Again. Yeah. 
You know what's really funny about that? When you're falling through, the crystal just went straight up through Cortex's face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, the issue, the thing with uh, co controlling both Crash and Cortex is that your this one, your, by the way. your movement. Wait, what? They turning on the switch, by the way, Xavier. <laughs> oh. Uh, my. Oh, oh excuse. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Uh, yeah, when you're controlling both of these, both of these guys, uh, your your movement is very gimped, and you can't spin where you're jumping, which is what kept killing me. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit awkward. Oh, now he's back in the barrel. Yep. Pipe, but yes. <laughs> I guess. I guess I'm. I guess I was mistaken. Wait, what? Hmm? About my earlier statements, I guess I was mistaken. Oh. About the whole, like, Harry saying something harder than that. <laughs> er. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't remember saying any, anything like that. I will say that everyone complaining about X game being too easy when they've been the old oh. platform for around 20 oh, years. Oh. Maybe needs to be quiet next time. I don't want Toys R Us to punish me anymore. Yeah, I mean, it, it can, yeah, I mean, when you're used to how a, a series, uh, not series, but like a, how a genre, genre in general works, um, difficulty is going to be a lot different compared to someone who hasn't ever played a platformer before, so, hmm. I mean, but yeah, in terms of like, um, quality of life stuff, I, uh, I generally don't mind stuff like that. Um, I guess it depends on what exactly you're doing. Um, but like, I, just, adding like features that make it um, easier for newcomers to get into. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind things like that. And um, uh, yet the fan base complain about that anyway. Fire Emblem. <laughs> Yep. I feel I feel like if it's option if it's not forced on the player and it's something you you can activate if like you want a more like an easier or more comfortable experience I think it's fine I think it's when say like going this way when it's like the tail save in Colors Ultimate because I, I played that recently um, that's when I have an issue with it because it's something you can't toggle on or off it's always there with uh, without <laughs> your consent, basically. Um, and I feel like there should have just been an option to turn that off and just have the regular Sonic Colors li live system instead. Um, but, like, yeah. Why is this level so generous for checkpoints? I don't get this. <laughs> yeah. Harry, what are you talking about? It's just a moving checkpoint. Oh, wait, I think I did this wrong. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> the way you went through. Do it again, I wasn't looking. Uh, this section kind of reminded me. Um, have you guys ever played uh, Boom Blocks before? My brother did. No. Uh, yeah, because like, I'm reminded of that because there's um. There was a level, there's like a level creator for those games that people went nuts over. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people basically made these kinds of, um, these kinds of like, uh, chain reaction puzzles. Um, and yeah, they were really cool. So anyways. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, those games are fun. Uh, I haven't played them in years, but... I'll be honest, when you say boom blocks, the first thing that goes to my mind is Roblox. <laughs> no! And I haven't even played that, and I probably never will. Yeah, no, Roblox I could care less about. <laughs> um... Fortnite is where it's at! <laughs> yeah! The only thing I, I know about like, Roblox oh. is... Well, uh, I mean, that's the oh. oof, but... Not yeah, the, the boomers and zoomers, it's disgusting, frankly. I mean, isn't isn't that the oof from like some weird baby Jesus game or something? 
I have never heard of that before. That move came from Minecraft and then it was carried over to Roblox. I the oof, no, the, well, the oof is like cool more than, more so than like. The... Than like, yeah, like yeah, the, the the Roblox oof and the Minecraft oof are there are two different sound fights. Yeah, the, yeah, the Minecraft oof is like oof. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that one's like oof. Yeah, the one in over, over really good meme material. Yeah, the Roblox yeah. oof. I from what I remember looking this up at one point, but it's from like another game, but I don't remember what it what it is. But um, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I I still think it would have been funny if like the Minecraft oof was the only noise that Steve made in Smash Bros. But. Considering, the, but considering Alex Zombie and Enderman are also within the game, it wouldn't it wouldn't work the same way. Yeah, I the only other th I I do remember at one point playing Roblox when when I was younger, but it's like, it's I don't remember it really being anything special. Hey, look, it's the best fight in the game. Yeah. Oh, go dial. Yeah, this is basically a super powered version of his Crash Free fight because this is like way harder. <laughs> Bye. Here's one extra hit point as well. Yeah, I remember her struggling a lot on this on this guy. So it's all about pan uh, memorization. It took quite a few hits too. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not a fight you're gonna be in your on your first go. So th again, this is like, it, like, uh, I, th either this game has like, really meh fights or really good fights, and this is one of the better ones. We. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's the next part. Wait, oh, right, yeah, he's, he's following me. Yeah. When he, like, goes up and down, it gets a bit tricky. That's the last, that's the last hit, right? I think. Alright, and yeah, it does this. The, the firewall. Yeah. He's firing a machine. He was firing a flamethrower like it was a machine gun. Yeah. Now, now here's the hard part. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn it! Did you run into him or? I was trying to slide. But that. Uh, okay. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, ju ju just run. He's gonna. Oh, okay. What, what what happened there? What? Okay, I didn't think that that was gonna happen. Yeah, he he well, like he does it like he tricks you. He like he just uh, fires again, but like really close to you. Also good. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I was just trying to ch body slam. Well, this we is take a very well, this we is a very well made game. Well, we take those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, um, it's a uh, good to. I I do like how Dinkadal uh has consistently like really good boss fight, uh, fights though. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't had that many, I guess, but still. Oh, what is it like? There's Crash Free. There's this. Uh, well, like Crash of the Titans DS, maybe. <laughs> Here's adventure. Oh right. I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, oops. Um. You missed your shot, so you gotta do the whole pattern again. Yeah, the huge adventure fight is just kind of there. Unless you underwater fight, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't remember that game really having that. That uh, great. Uh, boss fights. Damn it. 
Okay, now oh, I'm just... Yeah. Now I'm just sucking. I don't know why it's funny how he only does that burst attack once. Yeah. That's literally the only time he does it to start. <laughs> yeah. Um... What are you doing now, Xavier? Checking the Fortnite store. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm... Okay, I... This is why... This is why, uh... Pat, uh... Yeah, he doesn't wait. There's an email where you just have like a bowl of Halloween candy and you're just stuck yeah. in your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is why it's important to uh, memorize the pattern because otherwise you just eat crap like I keep doing. Also, Xavier, I know what we're doing. After oh my god! Fortnite. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there's quite a few more. There's quite a few more like um. Halloween cost Halloween characters like a mummy, Frankenstein's monster, and Frankenstein's bride. Oh, oh my god! All right, what's in the dailies? Oh my god! Look it out! Get fucked! Ah, oh, I'm not very. I keep forgetting what what he's gonna do. The thing is, like, you need to be like have him target these like switches, uh, like when he like. When he does the specific attack, otherwise you can have to do the whole phase again. But I keep forgetting when he's done. Fine, I I, I think if I saw the fight correctly, I think I got the idea. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's... I, uh, hot, high beam. Yeah. Then that the next one is the next thing he does should be firing a shot. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now, now he's gonna follow me. Then it should be fire wall. Yeah. Cool, he does this for a while, doesn't he? Alright. Then it should be a shot. Yeah. Okay. Now it's changing. All right. Here okay, was this. So is there any reason why he squeals like a pig? I... Uh -uh. Um. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Sounds good enough. Good enough for me. Okay. That was literally last second. That was like frame perfect. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna trick me in a second here. Now go this other way. Okay. And now, what are you doing? Okay, now he does the burst. And now he should do this, okay. Alright, we got it. Out of Oh, actually. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh, but, yeah, there's an there's an Andrew Williams thing. Now we're back here. So this is an in, uh, this is a, an instance of like accidentally going to the same, going through the same area again. Because Cortex is right there, and as you go to him, he'll fall down the stairs again, and you have to go through that whole um, un underground section again. So yeah, don't do that. Actually, uh, Jonah Williams, that dead eye enemy number one. Yeah. Oh, are you looking for the Fortnite store? Yeah, Ash Williams is there. Yeah, and so is Black Adam. Oh, oh I kind of want. Oh man, I kind of want this emo, but you can only get it in the pack. Oh, the um, Ash Williams? No, there's yeah, it's called it's a trick. There's someone down there. <laughs> <laughs> Look. <laughs> 